Some time after Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego began to serve in the court of King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, the king had a golden statue of himself made. The massive 90-foot tall statue stood as a monument to Nebuchadnezzar's power and greatness. The king ordered all the leaders of Babylon to come together for the dedication of the enormous idol. On the day of the dedication ceremony, all the leaders of Babylon gathered by the golden statue of King Nebuchadnezzar. A herald announced to the crowd that they were to bow down and worship the statue when the music began. Anyone who did not do as commanded would be thrown into a furnace of fire. So when the sound of music from the trumpets, harps, flutes, bagpipes, and all sorts of instruments was heard, everyone bowed down before the statue. Everyone, that is, except for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. A group of the king's advisors noticed that these three young Jewish men did not bow down and worship the statue. Jealous of the power the king had bestowed on these exiles from Jerusalem, the advisors went to the king to tell him of the men's disobedience. When King Nebuchadnezzar heard that they refused to bow to the statue, he became furious. In a rage, he had Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego brought to him to answer for their disobedience. He told them that if they continued to refuse to bow down and worship the statue, he would have them thrown into the furnace of fire. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego held to their faith. They told the king, The God we serve will deliver us from the fiery furnace. King Nebuchadnezzar had heard enough. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times hotter than normal. His soldiers tied up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and led them to the furnace. As the doors of the furnace were opened, and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown in, the heat and flames overpowered the soldiers, and they died on the spot. King Nebuchadnezzar looked into the furnace, and to his amazement, he saw that the three young men were unharmed. Then the king noticed something even more amazing. In disbelief, he asked his advisors to confirm that there were supposed to be only three people in the fire. After his advisors agreed with him, the king said, I see four men walking unhurt and unbound in the fire, and one of them looks like the Son of God. Nebuchadnezzar called for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to come out of the fire. He was so in awe of what he had seen, he praised the God of the three young men and declared that anyone who spoke against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego would be killed. The king said, There is no other God who is able to rescue in this way. Then the king promoted the three young men to high positions in his kingdom. Thank you.